guys, it's Ishani, aka Total Makeup Junkie 101. So today I have my August favorites for you guys. It is already September, which is crazy. I can't believe how quickly August went by, and I'm really sad because I start school this month, unfortunately. But um, I have some really great products to show you guys, so let's just get started. So we will start with hair care products. For my hair, I have been absolutely obsessed with the Moroccan Oil Restorative Hair Mask. And it comes in a little tub like this. And this stuff is so amazing for hair if you have a lot of split ends or your hair is really weak or your hair is breaking a lot, this is amazing for that. Basically, this is like a super, super thick, rich mask. And what you do is after you've shampooed your hair really well, you put it in like the ponytail section of your hair down, really focusing on your ends. And then you leave it in your hair. I leave it in for about 15 minutes. Um, just leave it in your hair. You can just continue showering or you could just get out of the shower and just wait, whatever you want to do. And just let this sit in your hair. And then when you wash it out, your hair feels amazing. And this stuff smells super, super amazing as well. It smells very, very perfect. Fumey. It smells just like all the other Moroccan oil products. If you guys haven't smelled it, if you don't like strong perfume scents, you probably won't like this because it's very, very strong and very, very perfumey. Next for skincare, I have one skincare favorite, and this is pretty much like an all-time favorite. It's my Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. I've mentioned this in favorite videos in the past. It's just my all-time favorite everyday moisturizer. It's super good. It's very light, and so if you have oily skin, this is perfect because it's not going to make your skin more oily. All right, now let's jump right into makeup favorites. So my first favorite is actually an eyeshadow and it is in this Stila um, the It Girl palette trio. I got this for like 10 bucks at Sephora and it is this shade right here which is Kitten. This is an absolutely gorgeous kind of light shimmery pink and this is kind of light for my skin tone. Actually what I use it for is an inner corner highlight and I have that as my inner corner highlight right now and it makes an amazing inner corner highlight. It just really brightens up your eyes and makes your eyes look super super open and awake. Another product that I've been loving is my Illamasqua Pure Pigment and this is the packaging that it comes in and this one is in the shade Ore and this is a very, very pretty, kind of metallic, brownish, copper shade. The shade on this is absolutely gorgeous. The only problem is um, the packaging is horrible. It's so hard to open this, um, but I love the shade. And in conjunction with that pigment, I have been absolutely obsessed with my MAC water base mixing medium. I got this at the MAC Pro store. You guys saw it in my MAC Pro haul. Um, I love this stuff. It's a super, super good pigment adhesive. It works amazingly with pigments, so you can apply them wherever, your eyes, your lips, your face, wherever you want to, and it just helps the pigment adhere all over your skin. All right, next for cheeks. I have been loving corally colored blushes. The first one is my NYC Blushable Cream Stick, and this is in the shade Pink Flash, and this is just a really, really pretty kind of bright, corally, peachy pink. The next product I've been loving for my cheeks is my Benefit Cha Cha Tint. Now this is actually kind of a two-in-one product. I've been loving this for my cheeks and my lips, and this is a really bright kind of neon orange almost, and it's really, really good. It works super well on your cheeks and your lips, and it's actually pretty pigmented, so you do want to be careful with this, and you want to be able to blend it out really well. Um, if you have lighter skin tone, I'd be really careful with this. Um, but this is really good for medium to dark skin because it is so pigmented. And the last cheek product I've been loving is my Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Blissful. This is like one of my all-time favorite blushes. It's just a matte peachy pink. Alright, and then for lips. I have been obsessed with products that are easy to use, obviously. Um, I've just been going to products that I can apply like without a mirror. I don't need a mirror to apply it. I can just slap it on and I know it'll look good with everything. Um, the first thing is my Maybelline um, Color Sensational Lipstick. This is 
from like that popsicle line that they released. This is in the shade Pink Lollipop. And this is um, a really funky lipstick. If you guys haven't seen these, it's like transparent as you guys can see. And it's just a light, light, light pink. And when you first apply this, it goes on pretty much clear. You really can't see anything. But as it kind of like warms up to the heat of your skin or something, it starts turning into a really pretty natural light pink. It's not going to turn hot pink or anything. It's a really pretty natural, like your lips are just naturally tinted like that pink. Almost as if you've just eaten a popsicle, which I think was the point of this whole line. Now this lipstick was limited edition. I found it at a separate display at my drugstore, so if you want it, I would recommend going really quickly to get it. And I mean, look at the packaging. It is so pretty. Okay, the next lip product, which kind of follows the same category as being a really low maintenance, easy to use lip product. This is the Clinique Almost Lipstick in the shade Black Honey. And I know you guys are probably like, uh, are you kidding me? Like that's black. However, this product goes on super, super sheerly. There it is right there. So as you guys can see, don't be afraid of it. It's very, very sheer and it just kind of tints your lips a really pretty like berry mauve color. It's really pretty. All right, and the last couple of lip products is actually a lip combination. And this combination doesn't really follow the trend of the other two lip products I showed you. This is kind of if I wanted to dress up my lips and make my lips really stand out and pop. And this lip combination starts with the Milani Lip Flash Pen in the shade in a flash and it is a really pretty kind of purpley pink shade it's got like pink glitter and like uh, blue glitter in it too it's really cool and I just apply this all over my lips and fill them in and then on the center of my lips I applied the Milani 3D Glitzy Glamour Gloss in the shade Fashion Diva. These glosses are amazing. I just rediscovered these. They're so shiny and sparkly. And the sparkle in this particular one, it's like pink and purple and blue. And it really reminds me of the MAC Dazzle Glass in the shade Funtabulous. This is a stunning stunning lip gloss and in, whoa let's try that again and in combination with the lip flash pencil these two go absolutely perfectly together I actually have that combination on right now the camera is kind of washing out the color if you saw it in like real life it's really like bright and in your face it's really cool all right and the last lip product is actually a lip balm and this is a lip balm that I've been applying every single night before I go to bed. I've literally not skipped one night. Um, I apply this every single night and it is the MAC Naked Honey Skin Salve. And here's what the product looks like. You seriously don't need a lot on your lips at all. I've been using this for two months. I actually meant to include this in my last favorites video, but I forgot. So I've actually been loving this for two months. Two months consistently, every single night, I've been putting this on my lips. I mean, this tub is really, really big, so I don't think I'm going to run out anytime soon. This was discontinued, but I've seen it at CCOs, and it's very readily available at CCOs. So if you have a CCO near you, I would go check and I have one face product that I have been adoring this whole month and it is my MAC mineralized skin finish natural in the shade medium dark this is my favorite setting powder ever if I'm too lazy to apply my um, studio fix powder I just go with this because it's lighter it's easier to use you don't have to worry about it you can just dust it on and walk out the door I actually have it on today and I actually used it to set a tinted moisturizer that I used so this is just amazing you can use it to set foundation tinted moisturizer you can use it by itself it's just a very very multitasking powder and I use it all the time with my MAC 182 Kabuki brush this is the best brush to apply it with it just dusts it on so evenly and perfectly I love these two things together all right now let's get right into nail polishes I have been loving nail polish combinations this month I haven't really apply just one polish alone very much um, but the one polish that I did apply alone that I loved by itself was the China Glaze polish in the shade Blue Iguana and this came out in their 
um, Island Escape collection, I believe, for the summer. It's such a pretty, it's like a blue that like glows. It's like a super, super glowy blue, and it's almost got like a purple duochrome in it. It's so cool and so bright and so blue. Now the next couple of polishes I have to show you guys are nail polish combinations. Now one of my really good family friends, she had a Sweet 16 this month and her Sweet 16 theme was um, like under the sea, like an aqua kind of theme. So I painted my nails kind of like an under the sea inspired combination and it looked so pretty. I can't believe I haven't done this combination before. First I apply Essie's Smooth Sailing which is a really pretty like periwinkle blue purple shade with some like silver glitter in it. It's really pretty. And then on top of that I apply the Sally Hansen Extreme Wear Polish in the shade Shooting Star. So you can see these two, they're very, very similar in the blue shade, but this Shooting Star shade has like multi-dimensional glitter in it. There's like blue and silver and pink and purple and green, and it's so pretty. And on top of this, it seriously looks like your nails came from under the sea. So I absolutely love these two polishes together. Such a pretty combination. And the other nail polish combination, which I've been loving, I've been wearing this two out of the four weeks of this month. Um, this is the Sally Hansen Extreme Wear Hard as Nails polish in the shade Celeb City, which is just a very, very metallic, foily silver. Really any metallic foily silver will do. So I apply one coat of this and then on top of that I apply two coats of the OPI polish in the shade Spark de Triomphe. I don't know, it was in that uh, Serena Williams Glam Slam collection. And this is like the most glittery, metallic, foiled silver shade. It is so pretty. And pairing these two polishes together looks amazing. Alright, so those are all of my favorite beauty products of the month. Now I have a couple of random favorites to show you guys. The first one is a favorite random TV show of the month and this is actually my favorite TV show ever um, but I just wanted to emphasize it in this month and it is Friends. I love Friends. If you guys have not seen Friends, it is absolutely by far the best show ever. It is funny. It is sad. It is cute. It is adorable. It's amazing. If you guys have not watched Friends, you need to watch Friends. If you like comedy shows, this is the best. Okay, my next random favorite of the month is my favorite random movie of the month. And my favorite movie of the month has been The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. This is the first one, and this is such a cute movie. I actually rewatched this movie a couple times this month and I re fell in love with it. It's very, very cute, very, very adorable. I love the sisterhood bond that these four girls have. It's just such a cute movie. And my last favorite of the month. My last favorite is my favorite random song of the month. And my favorite song of the month has been Lighters by Bruno Mars and Eminem, and I think there's a couple of other people in there. Now, this song has a very, very catchy tune. When I heard it on the radio, Video the first time I was like hey this is really catchy and um, I love Bruno Mars and I love Eminem and I never thought that the combination of the two would work out so well because I love them both separately like I love Eminem for his stuff I love Bruno Mars for his stuff I never thought that combining the two would work so well but it does. It is such a good combination. Bruno Mars plus Eminem equals love. So that is a really good song. If you guys have not heard it, I really recommend you guys check it out. And I'll put a link to it in the description box so you guys can go check it out for yourself. And that is it. Those are all of my August favorites. This is absolutely crazy. I can't believe it's already September. I hope you guys enjoyed my favorites video. If you guys make favorites videos, please don't forget to leave yours as a video response so that I can check it out or if you don't make videos please let me know in a comment below what you guys have been loving for the month of August so that is it and I will talk to you guys later bye